For this video, we'll be looking at integer subtraction, problem type 3. And we're asked to subtract a couple of different problems here, 6 minus negative 10 and negative 47 minus 29. Uh, I've got the rules written up here for addition, and the reason I have those addition rules written is because even though this is a subtraction problem, we're going to use that memor remembering device called keep change change. Keep change change. We're going to use that to change subtraction into addition. Uh, why do we want to change subtraction into addition? Because we really want to use those addition rules. Instead of remembering a lot of different rules for addition and then different rules for subtraction, we can use this keep change change idea to turn subtraction problems into addition problems and only have one set of rules to remember. So let's start with this first one. That is 6 minus a negative 10. And this is our subtraction problem. But using keep change change, we will turn it into an addition problem. Uh, the first part says keep. So we're going to keep the sign of the first number. So the 6 was a positive. It's still a positive. But then we're going to change the operation from subtraction, in this case, into addition. That's what's going to allow us to use our addition rules. And then in order to do that, we have to also change the last number from a negative number into a positive number. Change that into a positive 10. So now we have turned this subtraction problem we started with into an equivalent addition problem. And using our rules over there for addition, positive 6 plus a positive 10, the signs are the same. So we add the digits, 16, and we keep the sign, positive and positive, still positive. So 6 minus negative 10, positive 16. And then for the second problem, a little bit bigger numbers, but same process. We start off with that negative 47 minus the 29. That's our original subtraction problem. Turning it into an addition problem, we keep the first sign, so it's still negative 47. We change the operation into addition and we change the sign of the last number. So instead of being minus a regular 29, we're now going to add, instead of a positive 29, a negative 29. So negative 47 plus a negative 29. I can go back to my rules for addition and my rules for addition say that when the sign is the same, I'm supposed to add the digits and keep the sign. So I'm going to forget about the negatives. I'm dealing with 47 and 29. So I want to add 47 and 29. So when I add those, I get 16 in the first column, carry the 1, uh, 7 in the second column. So adding gives me 76. But the second part of that rule says that I am supposed to keep the sign. So I started off with two negatives, and I now have a negative answer. Negative 76. So negative 47 minus 29, negative 76.